Ben and Kelly show. You can get a hold of us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that. A lot of DMs every single day come in. Sometimes we like to dive into the DMs, see um, what you guys are talking about and asking us. Jillian rolled in with one that is kind of interesting, like a, hey, can people change really at the root of it, you know? Yeah, that's the uh, the source of the issue, and we got to help her, I guess, figure out if we think yes. Yeah, so she says, I recently joined a dating site, matched with a guy I know from high school. I didn't even recognize him until he started messaging me. Once I realized who he was, I got upset. You see, he used to make fun of me in high school all the time. He was a bully. He even used to call me rat face. Rat face? (laughs) Wow. That's harsh. Okay. Uh, But he seemed so different, though, uh, when we were messaging. He was actually sweet and seemed really interested in what I've been up to since high school. We also have a bunch of cops. So he does, like, no, this is the girl from high school. Yeah, he knows her, and she just, I guess... Figured it out, uh, you know, through messaging and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, She says, we also have a bunch in common. We graduated eight years ago. My friends think I need to give them a chance because people can change. I don't know what to do. He was so mean in high school. So should I blow off the date with the high school bully or actually give him a chance? You know, I, I think I always want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And people can change when you're talking about maturing from a little kid to an adult. You know, that's interesting that you say that because like I went to my 10 year high school reunion and it was so wild because you know, we're all 27, 28 years old, right? Mm-hmm. And the the exact same clicks were still there. Like the same um, uh, guys that used to hang together acted yeah. the exact same way. The same girls that used to be in their little cliques and stuff acted Uh the same way. And I was just kind of seeing from, uh, it was almost like I was detached from the situation, um, from my own reunion. Kind of, they're looking at everything going, well, where am I? Like, are, am I literally back in high school? Like, are they going to? I still, I, we had the same clicks, but everybody was talking to everybody because, you know, it's like kind of the, you know, the guys that, um, had the little, the little wacky tobacky group. They were the ones that were showing all the kid pictures the most and, and that kind of stuff. So it was, they were kind of still sitting at the same table, but everybody was, you know, talking to everybody. And it was kind of fun to catch up. Well, maybe. So it, I, I think uh, people can change. Mm, I, you know. Uh, Are you telling her not to? I don't know. I'm just like I would be very cautious because of how people. Yes, they can change, but do they really? Well, I would give it a shot and see. Try to get him, get to know him as he is now. Brittany texts in and says, "I mean, is he picking up the tab?" <laughs> See, there you go. Get a couple of free meals out of it, maybe. Uh, another text says, hey, go on the date. Ask if he remembers. See how he responds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe just call him on it. Say, hey, you know, I'm kind of surprised that, you know, we started talking because I don't think that we had a super great connection in high school. Yeah, you called me rat of, face. Yeah, bring it up and see what he says. Yeah, literally and call he, him on it. Yeah, if he owns it. And, you know, apologize and say, you know, I'm completely, I was, that was awful. I'm a completely different person now. I want to start over, that kind of thing. Then it could be great. Jacqueline says, yeah, people can change with maturity. People can also change with mindset or faith. So if they choose Mm -hmm. positivity and peace over everything else, then that can change them as a person. So, a hundred percent. I mean, you're talking about, you know, like a kid growing into an adult. I mean, that is true. A lot of years have passed. That is true. But maybe that, Maybe the people at my high school just didn't get that memo. <laughs> Brittany's making fun of it. LOL. Kelly says, we didn't have a super great connection. <laughs> you called me rat face. Now I get it. I know. I, that was just, it was kind of like a fun little way to ease into that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Well, Jillian, I guess this is what we're saying. Yeah, go on the date. I'm saying. Um, be cautious. Be cautious and deaf. Call him on it. 
like yeah. say, um, I you weren't necessarily very nice to me. And uh pretty you know. sure you called me rat face. So I'm kind of confused as to now, why we're sitting here, but it's it's a fun ch- turn of events. Now that's gonna put them on the that. defensive immediately. Um Right. And, and I, I I feel like you get into it like once the date is going well and you guys are having great conversation and getting to know each other now. And then when you feel comfortable, kind of talk about how you feel like this is kind of surprising given your past. Now, all the people who are chiming in and saying, oh, you know, if the if the boy pinches the girl or the boy, you know, um, teases uh-huh. the girl means he likes her. I don't I don't yes. I don't like I don't like that. I don't like that as a no, it's a, not as, a great method, but that there's truth to that. I, so maybe the the kid that called me that said I had a Kmart face on the bus, maybe it was because he liked me. Well, maybe that was the one that got away for you, Kelly. Maybe. All right. Well, Jillian, good luck. Um, let us know how it all goes, and yeah, we'll we'll get a follow up from you. You know. Um, be next week.